Welcome everyone. Hope everyone is fine and safe. And today we are going to see how to install test engine in your Eclipse. So before that, if you do not subscribe my channel, kindly subscribe and like this video. Okay, so come to our point. Before installing test engine, you should know why test engine is needed. See, web driver don't have the mechanism of generating the report by default. Web driver don't have mechanism for generating the report by default. So by external means, we need to give this facility. After you install this test ng, you will be able to generate report something like this. Okay, how many test cases executed, which test cases get passed, which test cases get failed, and how much second they have taken for what execution purpose. That idea you are going to get. Okay. And what you should have before installing test ng. You should have Eclipse version 4.9 or less. You can see at the bottom 4.9, 4.8, 4.7. These are the version which supports test ng as a plugin. Greater than 4.9, officially it is not supported. So you should have the Eclipse version 4.9 or less. If you don't know how to install Eclipse, I have separate video for the same. You can see it. I will provide the link of the same in description. Okay. So now let's see how to install. So this is my Eclipse. And let me check my Eclipse is having TestNG or not. So in Windows, if you go in preferences, you will not find option related to TestNG. Okay. So how to install TestNG? You need to go inside help and in marketplace, you need to search for TestNG. Here in the find field, I need to type TestNG and click on go. It will look for TestNG and it will give the option of install. Okay, so click on install. It is looking for the plugins. It will take little time, but it will do. So these two plugins are available. So TestNG, which is what uh, this plugin is what very much required. And this is for if you want to do Maven integration. So that is optional. Click on confirm to proceed. You need to accept the terms and condition and click on finish. It will start downloading and install. So you can see it is installing the software. You can click and see what is happening in the background. Okay, so till now 7% is done. It will take little time for downloading. I will pause my video here and will be coming back if the downloading is over. If you are getting security warning like this, so click on install anyway. And after the, your installation is successful, it will ask to restart your Eclipse. So click on restart now, then your Eclipse will be fully configured for TestNG. Let's restart. Let's confirm whether test engine is installed or not. Go inside window and preferences. You will find test ng as an option here. Okay, that means our test ng is successfully installed. So thank you everyone for watching this video. Hope you have liked it. Kindly subscribe and like this video.